Hey folks, last week I did a video uh, about a church here in Nova Scotia that was fined by the provincial government for, for gathering despite the COVID-19 pandemic restrictions that the province had put in place. They were warned, they gathered, they were fined, and then they gathered again this week and they were fined again this week. Now, I'm not going to touch on, on that anymore. If you've watched this channel, you know my feelings on it. Today, however, what I wanted to do was I wanted to talk about an alternative, right? Because I'm always saying that there's other ways we can go about being church. There's other things that we can do. There's other ways we can gather. There's other ways we can teach. There's other ways we can share. There's other ways we can connect. And, and that's not rocket science. Right? In today's day and age, with social media and with the networks that are out there, it's, it, it's not rocket science to figure out how we can bring people together. It's never perfect because we're used to being together in person. We're used to being able to see and touch one another. And, and doing stuff like this virtually, it's not perfect. And some people are left out. But then there's this other church. First Alliance Church in Alberta, the First Alliance Church, and they, whew, they show us what we can do. It's a master class of shifting. It's a master class of flexing. It's a master class in how to be a Christian church in a community for the community. You see, there in Alberta, and Alberta has been facing a lot of restrictions. And if you've been watching the news, there's been a couple of pastors out in Alberta that have been arrested uh, and their churches have been closed. One church, they had to build a fence around it to keep people from gathering. Um, lots of controversy, lots of, lots of talk about it. I mean, I, I believe it even, it even made the, uh, Ben, Ben's, not Ben Stein, Ben you know, Ben, I think it, they even made Ben's show uh, on YouTube uh, down, down in the U.S. They don't want to shift. They don't want to change. They don't want to do anything different. They're fighting for their rights. They're fighting for whatever. But First Alliance Church shows us what it means to fight for the community, to truly fight for the community. You see, they were shut down like everybody else. They were shut down just like everybody else. Two massive uh, campuses, two big campuses, two big churches belonging to this one parish. And both of them are shut down. People can't worship. People can't get together. Now, same situation everybody's facing, right? The stresses that come with not gathering, the stresses that come with still having bills to pay and being closed and all that other stuff. So what they did recognizing that they had empty buildings, is they reached out to the, to the community. They reached out into the community and they asked, what can we do? What can we use our space for? And they found a shelter. They found a men's shelter that works to help with the homelessness problem in their communities, who, because of the pandemic restrictions, weren't able to bring in as many people as they normally did. Right? Because now we have to have six feet of space in between everybody and, and there's got to be room to move. Whereas before, maybe they could be a little tighter. Now they can't. Right? And so they're, they're, they're trying to, to be responsible and they're, that, the, the shelter's trying to be responsible and they're, they're putting beds far enough apart to meet the, the city's requirements. But because they do that, they can't have as many beds. They can't help. They can't offer hospitality to as many men. So what did the church do? The church offered their space for that overflow so that that men's shelter could still help as many people every night by, adding, by putting beds in the church. That's amazing. But we don't stop there. These guys don't stop there. These people, these, these, this church, this isn't where they stop. They go further. They say, well, you know what? People are going to sleep here. What else do they need? It'd be nice if they had a place to shower. So what did they do? They invested $85,000. They invested of their own money, $85,000 
putting in showers and better bathroom facilities for their new guests. Because they wanted to show Christian love and hospitality to their community. Their space wasn't able to be used the way it had always been used. And rather than, rather than sitting in, in the grief and the anger of that, they said, no, this space needs to be used. It's meant to be used. How can we use it? They found a partner who said, hey, I can put some beds in there. And they said, fantastic. You put beds in there. We're going to spend money upgrading our facilities. We're going to spend our money putting in showers and better bathrooms for our guests, for our company. I like to consider myself to be a fairly big thinker. And maybe I am. I like to think that I'm doing what God is asking me to do. And, and maybe I am. But this, this congregation, they're my heroes. They get it. I don't know about their theology. Don't know. I don't know how inclusive they are. I don't know who they welcome. I don't know what they preach. I don't know anything about any of that. All I know is this. They had capacity. They had means. They had the foresight. They offered what they had and some. And they're making a difference in their province. They're making a difference for these people that are in need. All the while, completely within the restrictions that the authorities of their city and their province have set forward. Kudos to you, First Alliance Church, for this initiative, for being this loving, for showing us, for showing us the way. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that as you and I find ourselves facing barriers, find ourselves facing unexpected situations, that we would be as bold, that we would be as compassionate, that we would be as giving as the folks at First Alliance Church were in this moment. Amen.